So for you that don't know, Milwaukee and Ryobi Tool are owned by the same company, TTI. And Milwaukee Tool is basically the big brother of Ryobi Tool. You see what happens is sometimes Ryobi will put something out and then Milwaukee will wait a little bit and then they'll put something out, same tool, but maybe just a lot better. Basically what I'm saying, it's very rare that Milwaukee doesn't make a better tool than Ryobi, except for this time. All right, so what tool did Ryobi embarrass Milwaukee over. And, and listen, Milwaukee, they make awesome, awesome tools. It's a rarity that they don't make something good. But this vacuum I did a video on about a year ago and I thought it was okay. And then I made a second video saying how much I disliked this stick vacuum from Milwaukee. And I didn't really realize how much I disliked this stick vacuum from Milwaukee until I used this stick vacuum from Ryobi. Now Ryobi came out with this stick vacuum probably three months ago and I have been using and abusing for quite some time and I'm gonna tell you what, this thing's almost 100% perfect. Now, why do you care about a stick vacuum? Well, if you got a shop, if you got a garage, or just clean up around your house, these things come in very, very handy. And you wanna make sure that when you're using one of these, they're light, they're easy to use, they're convenient, and they have a lot of suction. So let's take a look at the Milwaukee first and the issues that I had, and then let's move it over to the Ryobi, and I'll show you exactly why you absolutely need to have this thing. All right, so the first thing I love about this Ryobi stick vacuum, let me show you. When you set this thing on the ground, it just stands up all by itself. It doesn't flop over, it doesn't move around, it just stays. The Milwaukee vacuum, doesn't do that. It'll literally fall over, which you would think something like this would be a necessity on a vacuum. Secondly, there's a lot more functionality on the Ryobi than there is the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee's analog. You turn it on low or high, low, high. And well, that's it. If I wanted to do hardwood floors, well, I couldn't shut off the brushes. But with the Ryobi, I can. So instead of the analog, Ryobi actually has all digital. What's cool about this is, well, check it out. I can turn it on right here. I can shut it off right here. If I turn it on and I want to use my brush, it's fine. But if I don't, hit that and it actually just pulls up the air for the hardwood floors. If I want to run my brush, great. If I don't and I just want to do hardwood floors, I can shut those off and I still got air being pulled up through. I can also put on a low or medium I can also adjust this from a high to a low setting by hitting the power. That's high, there's a green light. If I bring this right here, that'll turn blue and I'm at a lower power to serve more battery. You can't do any of that on the Milwaukee. Now Milwaukee does have one benefit, the container. The container on this one here is 0.2 gallons. The one on the Milwaukee, you're looking at a quarter gallon. So even though this looks bigger, you can hold 0.5 more gallons in the Milwaukee. However, I think where Ryobi really did it right was on the vacuum itself. So not only did Ryobi add the brush, they also added this tennis ball feeling roller right here. Milwaukee, on the other hand, only added one small brush. This actually made it miserable on carpet. It would actually pull the carpet in and it was very hard to push or pull backwards. Where the Ryobi literally glides over the carpet and the hardwood floors and I don't have any issues with suction or this thing getting stuck at all. That's real nice like. So I don't know how well you can see it, but I got a mess right here. A lot of grass clippings, just all over the place. We're gonna use that Ryobi vacuum and see what it can do. So, here we go. And there's a lot down there. Here we go. This is on high. And it just pulls that stuff right in. I don't ever have any issues with this thing clogging. Some nails, it's stuck on nails. Look at that. It's amazing, I tell you. You know, the other cool thing is this thing glides just like a Dyson. Look at that, look how that turns like that. Get some more of this stuff off here. It really, really works well. That's crazy, that's a really, really good job. All right, so there's a couple different things you could do to empty this one. You just push this button over here, opens it up, everything falls out. You can take this off like so if you want, but let's see what we got inside here. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, look at all that dirt, all that grass. I'll tell you what, everything I put in front of this thing, it pulls it up. It's awesome. 
You also got the flap right here, so if you put stuff in there, it doesn't come back out at you. Not to mention you don't have all of those different filters. You only got that one right here on the Ryobi compared to the Milwaukee. You had two different filters. It's just so much on that. And once you empty it out, you just put this on like so, and it clips in. If I want to take it off again, that's all you got to do. Or you just hit that button down here, and it opens up. And yes, this comes with other attachments. You can take this off simply by pushing this button right here. There you go. You can take this off like that if there's any clogs, or you can use this as a dust buster if you want to, which is really cool. All right, so what's the price between these two? Well, if you were to buy the Milwaukee, you're looking at $199 for just the vacuum. With the Ryobi, you're looking at $249. However, you will get a battery and a charger. And let me say one other thing. There was a first generation stick vacuum from Ryobi. It was okay, but it wasn't great. If you have used that vacuum and you're wondering, is this any better? Yes, a million times better than even that stick vacuum. This is also definitely lighter on the right side, the Ryobi, compared to the Milwaukee. It's more sleek and it just runs better. Now, I will tell you that this is a rarity. Not all the time will you get a vacuum or any tool from Ryobi that's better than the Big Brother Milwaukee. However, they did a fantastic job on this vacuum. Ryobi laid the smack down on Milwaukee. And a lot of people might say, well, spend the money on a Dyson. Okay. However, if you are in the Ryobi platform, it takes the 18 volt battery. This thing is amazing. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. You'll think, it's real NASLAC. Now, before we go, I do want to let you know that this weekend, we got another Ryobi cool tool coming up on the channel. I think this is really, really awesome. If you want to see what this is or you don't know what this is, get subscribed, hit that bell notification. You don't want to miss this. I'll leave another video right here for you to check out. We'll be back with more videos soon.